Hello, it is Monday. It's a new weekly reading vlog and I actually do have some reading updates. So, I have been continuing my buddy read of Dreams of Gods and Monsters with Emma. I'm not loving this. Um, we have this much left, so not a lot. I think it's three more days worth of pages, so probably about 150 pages left yeah I'm not I'm not loving it it's just it's got a little bit too much like war 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 and not much else plot wise and I'm just not loving it as much like I'm not enjoying the fact there's not really much of like Mick and Susanna like they're there but nothing's really happening and I'm just like I'm, I'm losing interest and I'm really not having a lot of luck with finishing series this year and next week, I'm not telling you what it is, but I'm reading a book that finishes a trilogy and I'm genuinely terrified now because I'm not having a lot of luck. But we move on. Um, I also yesterday started reading Lifelike. I, all my bookmarks are wherever at the moment. Um, so I'm using a train ticket that took me to Alexandra Palace on the 11th of February, this is when I went to see You Me at Six at Ali Pali. Um, so I'm using that at the moment. But I am 143 pages into this. I'm really enjoying this. This is slightly different from what I was expecting. There's a bit of like a like a love story going on, which I wasn't expecting, but I'm really enjoying it. This, the audiobook's really good. I'm really enjoying the audiobook. And I'm excited to see where this is going to go, because right now, I don't entirely know. I have some thoughts but I don't know if I'm anywhere near right with them but I'm enjoying it but it's Jay Kristoff I'm not actually surprised on that and then I have read a bit more of Unconventional I am 46% through now and I'm starting to enjoy this I think I kind of I know where it's going but I don't know what the conflict is gonna be and I'm not sure but I'm definitely more intrigued by this now and I'm enjoying it a bit more now um so that's a good sign but I'm hoping to maybe finish unconventional tomorrow I don't think I'll finish this tomorrow but it would be nice if I did um I did film tonight and I need to edit that video tomorrow so I don't know how much I will get read tomorrow I'll definitely do my buddy read pages on the way to work and then during the day like lunch break and everything probably unconventional and then the way home lifelike so I'll get a bit of each of them read tomorrow I just don't know how much <laughs> um but yeah so we shall see but today my um dice subscription came so this is obviously critical kit um the theme was I can't remember the actual name of the theme but the two dice that we got um, or the two dice sets rather, was Koi Boy, which is this like pearl white with vibrant red spots. Again, what else I took them out. They're very pretty. I really like these. And then we had Bonsai, which is deep green and burnt red with glitter. And I really like these, like... You can't actually see the glitter on here properly, but they're glittery and they're pretty. I like them. And then um, this month, it wasn't a pin badge, it was a bookmark. And it's got that on one side and that fish on the other. And they actually put two bookmarks in, so I have two. Hey, you know what I could do? I could use one of these bookmarks for lifelike. <laughs> An actual bookmark instead of an old train ticket. Um... So yeah, that is my updates for today. Um, that's basically it and I will catch up with you soon. I'm going to stop, I need to stop saying I'll catch up with you tomorrow because I don't always. So I'll catch up with you soon. <laughs> Hello, it is Tuesday. I actually have some quite good reading updates, more than I thought. So... I read my buddy read pages for Dreams of Gods and Monsters on the way to work. Um, they were a bit more interesting today. 
I still am feeling meh about this, so yeah. Um, on my way home from work, I listened to a bit more of Life Like. I'm just over halfway through. I'm like, this is how much I've got left. I'm really enjoying this. I really like the direction it's gone. And I also like the little hints about how, because this is a pretty like dystopian world. So it mentions about the San Andreas fault. And I think the the reason the world is the way it is is because something big happened at the San Andreas fault, which I am a disaster movie girly. Like, I love stuff like that. So this is like winning right now in my head. And then, this is how quiet work was. I finished Unconventional by Maggie Harcourt. Um, this was a three star. Um, I'm going to be honest, it was already heading towards a three star. I, I was a little bit bored in parts. It took me a while to get into it. And to be honest, like, I feel like there wasn't a huge amount of plot, but it was an okay plot. The thing that solidified it being a three and not a four, though, was my trigger. There was no need for heart attack to be there. Well, it wasn't actually quite a heart attack. It was angina. But it was the same symptoms as heart attack. And I can't deal with it. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah. It was... The ending felt a little bit too rushed as well. Like, I felt like there should have been a bit more conflict. I don't know if... I don't know if it's because I'm so used to reading adult romance now and there is usually a bit more conflict. Um, so that might be on me. But I just... I don't know. Um, I wasn't a massive fan. I do have actually have another Maggie Harcourt book somewhere on my shelves um, called Theatrical. And now I'm a bit like... Mm, about reading it um i might I, i'll see we we shall see um but yeah that's basically my updates for today um i'm hoping well not i'm hoping i should easily finish this tomorrow because i've got like two hours left of the audiobook so that should do my lunch break and then my way home from work and then in the evening, I might start Chain of Gold. Maybe, maybe. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's, bas that's basically it. Hello, it is Wednesday. My plan for today did not fully actually happen. So reading-wise, I read my buddy read pages of Dreams of Gods and Monsters, I don't really have any thoughts at this point. Something happened that was kind of predictable. I was kind of hoping it didn't happen because it was too predictable. But it happened and here we are. I did finish Life Like. Absolutely loved this. This was a five star. I was fully messaging Ash like, oh my god, oh my god. Um, amazing. I love this. I feel like this is going to be a new favourite series. Are we shocked? No. And then I did read volume five of Star Wars, the Jason Aaron one. This is Yoda's Secret War. Um, this was a three star. It's the first one that's been less than a four star. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of this one. I just feel like this was telling us some background story on something Yoda's done. It wasn't even like his like backstory it was just something that had happened to him fairly recently and I just don't think it was very necessary it didn't really bring anything to the overall story of Star Wars and I was a bit bored um so yeah <laughs> it was a free star um so yeah I fill my t my roles I like for my TBR and I'm just planning my TBR because that is going up next week but yeah I am now going to FaceTime Ash and then go to bed so Hello, it is Thursday. Um, I, <laughs> I I finished Dreams of Gods and Monsters. This was a three star. I was very bored. I was very confused in parts. And I just did not gel with this end of the story whatsoever. And I'm gutted about it. Something happened that made me literally roll my eyes. Because I was like, are you, are you actually serious? Like, no. Um, 
so yeah I'm, I'm sad I'm sad about it because I really wanted to love it but I didn't and then I did start Belladonna today and I am like 208 pages in so I'm like halfway through I'm really enjoying this I really like the vibes it's given me Addy LaRue vibes but not it's really hard to describe. It's not anything like Addie, La Addie LaRue. But the main character is giving me Addie vibes. And I'm just, I'm here for it. I'm enjoying it. But I'm also enjoying that it's, even though it's giving me those vibes, it is not like Addie. It is different. So yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. And I'm liking that the mystery element as well as the fantasy element. So yeah, hopefully this is a success. And then I got mail today. <laughs> I got mail today. Um, well, actually the other day I got some mail from Del Rey. Um, I got a, a, it's not an advanced copy because it's a finished copy of the new Star Wars book, um, Rise of the Red, like Inquisitor Rise of the Red Blade by Delilah S. Dawson. I'm really excited for this. This sounds so good. Um, I'm going to see if I can kind of fit it on my August TBR, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm really going to try because I am really interested in this. I don't know where it fits in the Canon timeline. It's, where are you? Okay, so this fits in after Avenger the Sith, but before Solo, Rogue One and A New Hope. So that's interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, I So the mail I got, some of this I got the other day. Um, I got a new lounge fly. Um, I got really excited because I saw this bit and I was like, oh my God, we have Anakin, Obi-Wan and Ahsoka from Clone Wars. Yes. And then I saw this and it has Maul. And then I saw this, which is Captain Rex's helmet. And I got really excited. And then when it arrived, I actually noticed all the additional people so we have ahsoka's like squad we have Bo, we have the sisters and then we have bad batch so this is the bag that's coming with me to edinburgh um because i'm taking this to the star wars themed bar that we're going to um and then i got a couple of funko pre-orders so my frost giant loki from the infinity saga collection came um i already have a frost giant loki but it's different <laughs> so we got this and then this is possibly one of my new favorite funkos it's darth maul versus ahsoka from clone wars which is just i can't i can't i'm so excited to own this Oh, also, the lounge flyer, because I got it from Get Ready Comics, they always put in a piece of artwork that's from the fandom, and this was the artwork. I'm a little bit sad it's from original trilogy and not, like, prequel trilogy, because Clone Wars takes place during the prequels, but it's still a really cute print, and, yeah, it's a freebie, so I can't really complain. And then I realised I had points to use on LitJoy to get money off things so I did a bit of a shop a little shoppy shop um so I got the throne of glass bowls I already have the Akatar ones and they are so good um so I got the throne of glass ones that just say eat like a lady um these are really good bowls they're not ceramic they're like a plasticky but they are so good um and then I got the read between the wines and it's just like a little lidded and you can close it this is going to be perfect for like when i'm out in the garden and i don't want flies to get into my wine it's perfect and it's even more perfect because we are doing a barbecue in a couple of weeks for my nephew's birthday so i'll be using this and then i just got a few little bits so i got the um sticker that says slowly making my way through my tbr pile which is very cute I got the Love Hypothesis pin, which is the carry yourself with the confidence of a mediocre white man, which is my, one of my favourite quotes. And then I got a couple of patches because I want to do, I want to decorate my denim jacket. And I keep saying I'm going to do it and I keep not doing it. Um, so I got the fantasy reader, the sci-fi reader, and of course the romance reader. Um, so that's my little haul. Um, yeah, that was everything. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. Um, I am now going to go to bed because I've got an early start tomorrow. Well, not so much an early start. I'm starting normal time at work. 
I'm doing nine till five. But when I finish work, I'm going straight to King's Cross to get the train to Ashes. So it's going to be a long one tomorrow. So I want to try and get an early-ish night. It's nearly 11. Um, I want to get an early-ish night. So I will catch up with you tomorrow. Hello. It is Saturday. We made it to Edinburgh. I didn't vlog yesterday because by the time I, my train, I'm cursed with Edinburgh. It wasn't because too bad this time. It wasn't as bad this time, but like obviously last time was a mess. I don't want to think about it again. <laughs> but this time, um, so my train got stopped for a while because at the station ahead of us that we had to pass through, there was someone trespassing on the tracks, which was great. So the police had to get them off the track so all trains got stopped which is very fair um it's only like 34 minutes though that you were delayed so mm -hmm. i just wanted to get off the train though i was just so uncomfortable on the train um but yeah so i got it was we got back to yours almost midnight so i was very tired um but we are now in edinburgh we are in this really nice hotel i would recommend it because the room is lovely check-in was so smooth and yeah it's really nice here would definitely stay again um but yeah we are going to cocktail geeks later and i'm so excited because star wars she doesn't like star wars <laughs> if you're someone who gets the cantina song stuck in your head and you've just got it out of your head you're welcome um so yeah and if you've watched my stitch and bitch in this one's um vlog she's done this twice <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we're going to chill for a bit because we haven't got leave for a while. We've got like an hour and a half until we need to book an Uber. So we've got time to just chill and then get ready and go. So you will see I'm going to vlog Cocktail Geeks this time because last time I didn't actually vlog properly. Um, so this time I definitely am going to. So see you in a bit. So this is a very, very cool menu because these are lightsabers. And then these are the other drinks. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> so I got the black kyber and Ash got the red kyber. And we got crisps because sustenance. <laughs> so I got the Grand Admiral, which is, and I got my own coaster. And then she got the Bantha milk. Look, I like that I got my own coaster, okay? <laughs> So next up we have the Tatooine Sunset and the Flame Out, which Ash is going to do the honours. That's very cool. <laughs> that smells really nice. <laughs> BB-8 and R2. <laughs> and the high ground. We, we have the high ground! <laughs> we, we may have had a few drinks. <laughs> Amazing drinks. They were so good and the staff were amazing as well. They were like they were so nice. They they were last time as well, but like yeah. I feel like they were they were more into it this time. I think like because last time it was quite a mellow. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is very mellow, but they were all dressed in like first order this time. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> but we um we <laughs> So I got a drink called Grand Admiral. <laughs> And she thought we were saying Grandad, Grandad Mall. Mall. Grandad Mall. That's what it sounded like. Uh, so she, she told. I told the server. Who looked a bit like General Hawks. Which was hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, so she, she told the server. And I was like, oh. And then he was like, I'm going to try and get that. Um, like, Because he was like, we call, what did he say? Grandad something. Yeah. He said Grandad something, and he didn't say Grandad Mall. And he was like, but I like Grandad Mall better. I'm going to try and get that behind the bar. Oh. So I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. But they wouldn't have known about it without me. <laughs> yeah, because I'm too shy. <laughs> Even with a few drinks. So yeah, we also bought a canned cocktail each from there, because they're also themed. Um, and now we're going to go get food and head back to the hotel. Because food is important. <laughs> I need food. So, update. We have the goods. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> the green. Um, we have the goods. And now we're walking back to the hotel to eat the goods. Hello. It's Sunday. We are in a rainy car. Back near this one's. But we, we got Dole Whip. And oh my god. Oh my god, that's so nice. Mine's pineapple. Mine's pineapple and raspberry. 
that's really good so yeah i might as well do my update now mm. um so i finished belladonna on friday i didn't i didn't think to tell you this yesterday we were done um, yesterday didn't we say? I finished Belladonna, it was a five star. I absolutely loved it and I'm really excited to read Foxglove when it comes out. Um, so yeah, that was great. I think it's broken the curse of bad luck with book box books. Um, and then I only have an hour and a bit left of Addy to read uh, on my reread, obviously. Um, and obviously I'm loving that. So I'm gonna just wrap this vlog up now. Um, also, I feel like I need to put this in here. Mm -hmm. We went into a um, Funko shop. Funko shop. Is that called Be More Geek? Be More Geek. And I got myself something, but look what Ash found. She got Grog. She got Grog. I saw it He's... behind the counter and I was like, ah. So I only need three more. Three. I, I need him, Scanlan, and Percy. And I got the Fresh Giant Loki soda, and I want to see if I got the chase. I don't think I'm going to be lucky enough to get the chase. But you never know. I don't think I have the chase. No, I don't have the chase, but that's fine. That is fine. He is still cool. Oh, he is adorable. Oh my God, I love him so much. And then I got that with that, which looks like a Tazo card. Yeah. Showing my age. <laughs> Some people don't know what a Tazo is and it actually physically hurts me. So yeah, I'm gonna finish having my doll whip and I'm heading home later, so. Sad face. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and see you next time. Bye.